aiming to stay up for the whole weekender, Kerry, don't even try. Do not even try to stay up for the whole 48 hours. I'm certainly not. <laughs> um, I don't think you can do that without getting, like, just crazy. Okay. What time is it? It is exactly 12 o'clock, <laughs> which means that I gotta start reading now. I got my tea ready. I should mention I'm in team mm. Maggi. I'm trying not to make a lot of noise because I don't want to wake up everyone. Um, I'm the only one that is awake right now and I don't want everyone to wake up and kill me, basically. <laughs> but I will show you. The lighting is awful because obviously I don't have uh, natural lighting right now. But I will show you um, what I'm going to be reading. Uh, I think I'm going to get to start with Annihilation by Jeff Van Der Meer. This would be a couple of my badges. First of all, I'm hoping this will be a five star read. Really short book, so it shouldn't be taking me a really long time. I already got my Oathmaker badge because I shared my TBR over on Twitter. Tournament ready, um, join a competition, I already did. It was like, um, they gave you a bunch of words and you had to find books with those um, in the cover, which was really fun. I posted that on Twitter as well. Um, oh, I need to get the power search badge, which means two hours sprint, which is why I'm, what I'm going to be doing right now. Um, I will get this completed and I will get the Tom Champion badge. And then, for the Magi, my team is the Magi. The only thing that I will be missing from this is the purple in the cover. And I'm going to be reading The Color Purple by Elisa Walker, which I also hope is going to be a 5 star read. I'm going to go ahead and read. What time is it? Oh, 12.03. And then, for my time zone, I think at 2 a.m., there will be another live session, which hopefully I will be joining. But if I can't, um, I'll just continue tomorrow because my idea is to just read one book a day. So I have Saturday to read Annihilation and then The Color Purple. Um, I'll be reading it on Sunday. Hopefully. Let's read. Okay, and so I have a stack of seven, six or seven books here, and I'll be like giving you guys clues and giving you clues, Emma.
nice and I do realize that I have to organize my reading life a little bit better maybe. Then the other batch is Power Search with which was completed a two hour sprint. I couldn't do the ones that they were doing at Twitter but I made it my own because every single time that they were doing the live ones at Twitter I was doing something else. <laughs> it was a really odd timing for me where I lived so I actually had to stay up at night and it was they were like at 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. where I lived I was watching them and then I had to sleep like a couple of hours and then go back to live streams which was okay because it was actually so much fun but I didn't get a lot of sleep to be honest and I mean this book is something that you can probably read in like three or four hours but I did a lot of stuff I, I actually was playing a lot of Animal Crossing with my with my sisters and cooking and doing other things as well so I couldn't just sit and read for the 48 hours I could have gotten so much done if I did that I would have read a lot more but I think we also have to keep it a little bit realistic however um, I did those I think the most fun thing to do throughout was the live sessions just to um, <laughs> which is I know it's silly for a lot of people but just it's so cool to just sit there with your book and read it along with someone else it was kind of really cool I got a bunch of recommendations and people are just really really nice throughout the whole community everyone was just really cool so those are the all team badges so everyone um, had to get this and then because I was sorted into Team Magi, I had other four badges which were Master Your Craft, What's Your Favorite Booktuber? I don't have a favorite booktuber yet. So I'm counting one of the live streams which was my favorite of the ones that I watched, which was the one with Emma from Drinking by Myself. I just think she's absolutely hilarious. I love her. Her videos are just really amazing. I'm counting that for my Master Your Craft badge. So. I got the done. Then the next one is Clairvoyance, which is to read a um, five-star prediction, which was this. It was actually a five-star, which is kind of really cool. The next one is Magi Might, which was to read something with purple in the cover. I was planning to read The Color Purple by Alice Walker, and I knew that it was going to be a really serious read. I knew that it was going to be a book with a lot of things that were a little bit dark. But I still thought that it was going to be something important to read. And I was really looking forward to it. But I thought I was going to be okay. But I started reading it. And honestly, I I didn't expect it to hit me so hard or to to feel so personal so I decided to just stop that and I was looking through my Kindle and I found that I had Alice Adventures in Wonderland and it has purple in the cover I'll put a photo over here so I decided to start reading that and I did start reading that um, throughout a live session which was really fun and that gave me my Magi might batch them for the final batch which is the expansive lore which is discover a new world it was also contained in this book so those were all my batches i hadn't finished today is sunday the 29 6 p.m where i live so i still have a little bit of time to complete my last book even though i have all of my batches i think i will finish that one also, there's going to be a live stream, um, they are reading along the Elantris books, I mean the Brandon Sanderson books, um, and I am reading Elantris, I'm almost done with that, Pop. and it's just so good, like, I've just gotten so many really great recommendations from Booktube, it was really, really fun, I just, I I couldn't believe it. I don't know why I haven't found this. <laughs> why didn't I discover this before? I don't know. So if you've never participated in read along, I would totally recommend it. I mean, um, Rachel is amazing. The amount of work that she put into it is just absolutely incredible. I was really amazed by everything. 
even like the tournaments you had to do the quizzes and all of that they were so well made illustrations for everything were fantastic uh, everyone on Twitter was really nice if you ask the, ask the question or if you have doubts in anything they will answer you and they would just be really lovely. so yeah that was my sort of blog slash experience <laughs> with my first booktube sort of um, participation in any way and these bookie trials were just really cool <laughs> so yeah I guess that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And if anyone is watching this, thanks for watching. Also, uh, if you have a YouTube channel, if you make any sort of book videos, I would love to check your channel out. I'm still discovering a bunch of, of people. And there's a ton, a ton of channels, which is really, really cool. So if you have one, I would love to check it out. So please leave it down below. If you have a good read, also I would love to um, to follow you there um, on Twitter, on Instagram, any social media where you talk about books. I would love to participate in that because it's just been so much fun and I cannot believe that I've just found out about this. Also, there's going to be a magical readathon, which is like you're taking like the owls for Hogwarts and you get, depending on the owls that you take, you get like um, a different career path or something like that. I don't know. It's just so cool, so creative. And I will definitely be participating on that for sure. <laughs> but I do have to make my TBR. You know what? I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to I'm gonna check it. I'm going to choose my career and then I will see if I can make my TBR for that. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.